Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me. Today we have an Indiegogo project we're going to be talking about. It's called Bulletproof Jackets Protection for Everyone. And as you can imagine, it's about bulletproof jackets. Uh, so first of all, I'm back in Hong Kong here at the studio. And I want to say thank you to everyone who's supported us so far. Thanks for the subscriptions and the likes and the views. Uh, we're a new channel, but going really well. And I hope to continue giving you new videos every day. So uh, let's take a look at this video. Um, let's read the subtitle here. So lightweight, comfortable, and fashionable, made with the latest ballistics fiber technology. And uh, this guy has raised $87,000 and change off of 242 backers, 351% of its $25,000 goal. So let's play the video. It's not the fanciest video, but it gets the point across. So um, as you can guess, their jackets and their bulletproof. So you can jog in them, you can go on dates on them. Oh, and by the way, you can also get shot in them. Ow! So uh, they shoot it, and then they say, look, see, didn't go through. Um, and then they do another one, and this one, the guy puts it on a piece of styrofoam, and uh, he literally unloads like three shots from, I guess that's the same 44 Magnum um, gun. Watch this. And cut it up, and look, we found one bullet, we found two bullets, and there's the third one. So, uh, the other funny thing is, okay, I've got my bullet hole filled jacket, let me just roll it up. And oh, why not just take some buckshot too while we're in? I guess that's the same one really abuse that jacket so uh, that's literally it for the video so they're just showing you a it's a jacket and B it can take a couple bullets um, and so uh, let's talk about this guy so apparently it works it claims that it's certified it uses real Kevlar um, test and certified whatever that means triple uh, a 3a rated up to 44 magnum and uh, it's the same protection as soft body armor used in nearly all law enforcement officers. Um, so the question is, what is the, is it the same protection as in it's the same bulletproofness, or is it the same protection as in it stops a bullet the same way with the same uh, energy absorption? So um, that's the question with this guy. So stopping a bullet is one thing, but then there's also the energy that is contained within the bullet. So even if the bullet doesn't pierce say a jacket or a bulletproof vest it still imparts a lot of energy onto whatever it's hitting and so the question is does this spread that impact or not so especially with like uh flak jackets and things like that they actually have plates in them or very thick padding to distribute the force of whatever's hitting you um you know literally they have like ceramic plates and those things are there to uh absorb the and distribute the, the energy imparted by whatever the thing is flying at, flying at you um, hypothetically at a fast speed and it's also probably sharp too. So the Kevlar stops the sharp part, the padding and whatnot is there to distribute the force. So this guy, especially since they showed it getting folded up, you know it's not really heavily padded um, and it's not definitely not rigid. Uh, and they also tout how lightweight it is and it's basically flexible and it gives complete coverage. So not just front and back panels, it also covers, I guess, the arms and under your arm and all that, but it doesn't cover the the, the actual arms themselves. So uh, keep that in mind. It's not actually complete coverage. It's complete torso coverage. Uh, comes with a ballistics uh, five-year warranty, and then this is the funniest part, I think, at all. If you were ever shot while wearing one of our jackets, we will replace it free of charge. So you can... You basically win the lottery if you if you end up getting shot while wearing this because you get a free jacket out of it. 
Um, just send us the jacket and the police report. Overnight shipping is on us. Well, that's very nice of them. At least they could do right after you took a bullet. Um, and they talk about also how it's raided and it stops nearly all handgun and shotgun threats. Uh, so here's just the handgun bullets, I guess. Um, and all the way up to your 44, 44 Magnum right here and even a 45. And then all kinds of small, uh, even a 22 rifle bullet. So uh, on paper, sounds pretty good. It's got a certification. It even comes with a copy of it. So And then they even thought of stuff like, okay, what if you get shot right on your zipper? Um, so they have a flap with extra uh, material. I don't know if that will really stop the bullet because it could just kind of sneak by. Um, but anyway, uh, here's the deal. Here's the fact. Um, there's some also funny things. It talks about what it stops and will it stop a rifle round. No, unfortunately, no soft armor will stop the centerline fire rounds. Okay, so stop center, center fire rifle rounds. So... Um, Apparently, we'll stop the small ones, though. So, anyway, that's the, the deal. That's the pitch. Uh, the costs are not insignificant. Um, you can get two jackets for $540. You can get... Uh, they even make a briefcase, which I guess also has Kevlar in it. Um, so, you just hold that up <laughs> over your over yourself uh, when you're getting shot at. Um, they have these different styles. So, they have... The Wonder, the Freedom, the Arctic, and the Sherpa, and the Sport, and Logan. Logan is actually like a full-on uh, top coat, I guess. And these guys go up to, okay, so this one I think is probably the most expensive is 380 And then you can get, um, you can get, a, you know, combos of different ones. So that's the deal you know i don't know what bulletproof vests go for nowadays but i'm sure it's at least this much you know at least at least this much if not much more um mostly because if you're going to get it don't get a cheap one um so these prices i think is again same thing like you don't want to you don't want to cheap out if you're getting a, a, a bulletproof vest uh, but the question is again like is it effective and stuff just because it has a certification that it's passed the test doesn't mean it's necessarily good in the real world i think the other thing is it seems a little bit deceptive um you know looking at this just this picture here like okay you can go jogging in it but if it's got all this extra kevlar in it and that kevlar is basically supposed to save your life you know it's going to weigh a lot more and they actually do mention that here in the uh q a somewhere okay so so this guy actually asks um how much does the Logan weigh? Logan is that uh, top coat thing, the long one. And they actually say it weighs seven pounds, right? Um, and I think they mention here, somewhere in here, that these these guys weigh something like three and a half pounds for the jackets, right? So uh, the medium-sized jacket weighs 3.5 pounds. So that's, okay, so this is basically double, uh, two jackets in one weight-wise. But these guys are basically 3.5 pounds, I guess. And the women's ones may be a little bit lighter. So just to check, I was like, okay, well, what does a regular non-bulletproof jacket weigh? And um, this is one I just found on Amazon. It's men double-breasted overcoat with classical pulp, yada, 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 slim trench fit. And uh, one of the reason I checked on Amazon is because Amazon lists what the shipping weight is. So it's something like 2.6 pounds. So, okay, so uh, non-bulletproof west, non-bulletproof styled overcoat let's call this an overcoat is a 2.6 pounds and a bulletproof one is almost uh, three times that much uh, and also that's the shipping weight is 2.6 pounds so without the packaging is probably 2.2 or something so uh three times more and definitely things like this kind of you know vest um will weigh like a quarter pound or maybe half less than definitely less than a half a pound um without the bulletproof stuff and i guess it's probably something like closer to three pounds with it so yeah you can jog in it but you're going to get a much better workout because you're lugging around an extra couple pounds of uh of kevlar with you as you go so keep that in mind um i must i'm hesitant to uh give this one a thumbs up or thumbs down just because 
you know, I don't want you to go buy it just because I gave it a thumbs up and then you end up getting shot and get mad at me because it didn't stop the bullet or you got a really, really nasty bruise uh, because it's so lightweight. So anyway, I'm, I'm warning you. Um, I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to work. But, you know, if you're, um, let's say, uh, working in a dangerous neighborhood or you're just very, you know, you, you do some kind of uh, work that might lead to you being shot at, um, like your pizza delivery guy or something like that. Um, you know, it's better than nothing. That's probably true, I would say. Um, and uh, for the money is, you know, get, not dying from a gunshot wound is probably worth the 200 bucks. So if you got money to spend on it, at least, go for it. Um, so I'll give this one a, 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 a flat, but then maybe two degrees up if you are planning on getting shot. How's that sound? Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to Go Kick Me. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for Go Kick Me, one word. And uh, leave a comment. Give us some feedback. Uh, if you are from... Are you, If you are Dallas Jolly and you're from the Bulletproof Jacket guys and you liked our thing, please give us a comment below. If you would like us to review your Indiegogo kickstarter gofundme whatever it is let us know we'll be happy to check it out and maybe do a podcast about that as well okay so see you guys next time